All right, what's up, YouTube? Hopefully, y'all can see this. Um, I'm gonna do a couple different stuff right now today. First, we're gonna start off with showing you how to test your battery. Get yourself a voltmeter. This one's from I think AutoZone or Vans Auto. I think it was maybe twenty dollars. Don't gotta go spend a lot of money on one of these just for your battery at least. So you're gonna set to volts on twenty because. Our batteries aren't that powerful on a um, motorcycle. Take your prongs off. I literally just took this off the trickle chargers right on the back seat of the bike. Um, let's not lose the tips of my. So I'm gonna sit it up here. All right. So you're gonna put the black on black and red on red. Your battery. Should If it's any less than that, you might want to check your battery. Some of them are going to read 14 or somewhere in there. As long as it's around 13, you're good. And then when you turn your bike on, when you turn the key, I wish I had a way, maybe if I can see it like that. don't know if that's going to work. But when you turn your bike on, it's going to drop just for a split second going to drop and then it's going to come back up and then it'll stay right around in that ballpark that's me moving the prongs as long as you're when you turn the key it's still around 12 and then so when you go to start your bike it's a cold start the bike hasn't been started in probably a week and it's been fucking freezing outside so One more time and it's going to keep running. So, while you're riding, your bike is supposed to be charging. If you're out riding and, you know, everything dies and you test the battery, you go put your voltmeter on, put it on 20, and you crank it up and the battery drops way down, your battery's shot, more than likely. But you can always take your battery out and, you know, take it to Advanced Auto or anything like that. And they can test the battery for you. And that will let you know also. Now if their battery is um, charged correctly and anything like that, more than likely it's your charging system. Which everybody who, you know, has been riding bikes for a little while or know anything a little bit about bikes, is usually that stator and that damn rectifier is going bad. And then you have to replace them. Some people say just... Most people will tell you to replace both, and that's the best thing to do. So you just get both of them out of the way. And Jixers are good for having stators and rectifiers go bad. My other bike, stator rectifier, went bad on it, and I had to re 
put everything in there and then my charging system will work. But all you need to make sure your charging system, when you rev it, your bike up with the um, voltmeter, when it goes to about four to 5,000 RPMs, it's supposed to be over 12, 13 um, voltmeters. So if it doesn't go that high and it starts dropping down, your charging system is not charging the bike. And even with your trickle charger, if you have it on a trickle charger and it's not charged up past 12, then your battery shot also. That's pretty much how you need to figure out if your battery or your charging system is shot in your bike. But, you know, it's pretty simple when replacing, replace the battery, replace the stator rectifier. It's not very hard because your stator and rectifier are all on this side of the bike. And I'll show you where your stator Your stator's down here. You have some Allen keys that will release it and it plugs in up behind here and it plugs into your bike um, charging system. Your rectifier is usually right behind the um, left side tail fairing. It's usually right in, let me see, you won't be able to see it, but it's literally right there on the frame. Um, I have all my stuff off right now because I'm trying to figure out I believe my stator is leaking some oil or somewhere over here is leaking oil so I'm trying to figure that out but for the sake of the whole video we were just talking about how to figure out what's working and what's not working get you a voltmeter 20 bucks and figure out you know set it to 20 volts and do as the video shows and you can figure out what's going on without you know going to a shop and them charging you however much they might charge most shops charge 50 to 100 bucks just for that so you save yourself a little bit of money go spend 20 bucks bison gardens out like and subscribe comment thanks